and today I want to talk about some tips on how you can start believing in yourself. So the first tip is give yourself a chance. So anytime you start to think, I can't do that, I could never do that, you want to say, no, let me give myself a chance to see what I can do, right? Giving yourself a chance is kind of like giving yourself an opportunity to succeed because you're never going to succeed without the opportunity to do so, right? So let me give you an example in terms of painting. So when I first started painting, you know, a lot of the times I just do like simple flowers like this, right? There's nothing wrong with keeping it simple. And this is the last painting that I made. But sometimes you want to spice things up and you want to challenge yourself and see if you can do more complex things. So I decided that I wanted to start making the lily of the valley and incorporating that into my paintings. You know, my first thought is like, oh, that's a little bit of a more complicated flower. Like, I can't do that, right? Then you just think to yourself, no. I got to give myself a chance to see if I can do it, right? You can't knock yourself down and tell, and tell yourself that you failed before you even tried. That doesn't even make sense when you think about it that way, right? So here is the simple flowers that I'm used to making, right? And now this is my other painting. So as you see, like these are, I did a simple flower here. And then I decided, let me do the Lily of the Valley in this one. So this is my first attempt at a Lily of the Valley. This is kind of like a simple version of doing the Lily of the Valley. So, you know, you want to, you might want to start small, do what it is that you want to do in like a simple way. And then you can move on to doing it in a more complex way and getting better. But when I say give yourself a chance, you also want to give yourself multiple chances. So you can't just be like, Oh, well, I did this and like, it doesn't look good, right? So let me show you the next one. So this is a painting I made for my dad. So then I gave myself another chance. Let me, you know, I'm still into this Lily of the Valley idea, incorporating that into my art. So I did it again. And I think that this one came out a lot better, right? I have a little bit more details in these two. Then I made another painting. This is it here. And so I tried it again, and these ones I think are even more detailed than the one I made for my dad. I would say if I tried this one more time, it would be even better than this. So if I had not given myself a chance to see what I'm capable of doing, then I wouldn't have ever reached, you know, that third one that I showed you that's obviously better than the first one. So like I said, you want to give yourself multiple chances. Just like that quote, like, at, at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again, because obviously you're not going to be amazing your first time at doing something. And I used to kind of have a problem with like, if I'm not good at something immediately, that means I'm never going to be good at it. And I should just give up on it and just stop doing that. Right. And that's kind of like, I don't know what it's called a fixed mindset, maybe, but you want to have like a growth mindset. Um, that's the thing my mom used to tell me that I didn't have a growth mindset. So I'm trying to develop more of a growth mindset. Like having a growth mindset is thinking like, maybe I can't do this right now, but if I keep practicing, then eventually I will be able to do it as opposed to just thinking, well, I'm not good at this now. So I'm, I just, just give up. Right. And something that helped me was, you know, just like crocheting. I've been crocheting a lot and, you know, with crocheting, I feel like that's a different type of skill than painting. It's like f more so following instructions. And I feel like Anybody can crochet, you know, as long as you have the instructions that are like in a way that's easy for you to understand, right? And so sometimes I would have a hard time making a certain thing, but then eventually I, I would keep trying and then I would get it and I would succeed. So I just realized that I can start applying that mindset to painting also. So I'll look at reference photos and, you know, keep trying to make what it is that they're making until I succeed and I get it. And one of the, if you want to become a better painter or artist, a good book is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. And so something she says in there is like, it's impossible to get better and look good at the same time. You know, for example, when I'm making that Lily of the Valley, like the first time, you know, I did it like it wasn't as good because like it's impossible to look good and get better at the same time. So then you have to keep trying and keep going until you succeed until you are proud of what it is that you made right and so even with making this like when I show you you might think oh I just I just did it and I made it you know 
even when making this, like you do mess ups and you keep having to fix it and go over it and you know, you can't really erase it, but like going over it is kind of like erasing, you know? When you look at somebody else's work, you're just seeing their finished product and you're not seeing, you know, what it looked like for them to get to it. That's why I don't like when, like when I see people painting outside, I used to think like I would never paint outside because I don't want people seeing my process because it always just looks so bad until you know it's done that's why you always have to trust the process like a lot of times when making things i think like oh my god this looks so terrible i want to give up you just have to say no trust the process because the end result can be good so that's kind of like the second tip i guess um trust the process and don't give up right away if things look messy in the beginning just keep going because you never know what's going to happen at the end at the final result it could look you know really good and really amazing right and that happens a lot more so like with abstract art um you never know what's gonna happen and sometimes i feel like giving up but then it ends up looking good right so the next thing i want to emphasize is it's really all about your mindset something i've heard was like whether you think you can or you can't you're right so if you go into something thinking I can't do this, I'm never gonna get this right, then you're not gonna be able to do it. But if you go into something thinking, I can do it, I will succeed, you know, then you're more likely to succeed, right? Because you have like this more positive of a mindset. So something that's helped me to really have the mindset of I can do it is telling myself, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And so when I was making one of these paintings, right, I wanted to make this other flower incorporated into it, the Columbine flower. And I like this flower because the mantra of it is faith, not fear. And so it's more of a complex flower also. So I started looking at the reference photo. Um, I use reference photos. I think that's good to use because in a way, like that's kind of like instructions. And so it can help you until, you know, maybe one day you're able to make certain things without reference photos right and anyways i'm looking at it and i'm like oh no like this is really complicated i'm not going to be able to do this but then i just think to myself no i can do all things through christ which strengthens me and just saying this to myself it made me feel better and it made me more likely to you know want to try and give myself a chance like i was saying before to see if i could do it right and then, to my surprise, I actually did do it and I succeeded. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like here. I think it came out really good. Now my next thing is I want to work on my faces. This I was just doing like, you know, from my memory and my brain. You know, I got this dragon, this part of the dragon, um, like this part of it from a reference photo. I changed the tail, I added the waves, and I changed this. But so like, I did this from, from reference, so this maybe I should try to do a face from some type of reference and maybe it could help me to get better with that. That's something I wanna work on my faces. Like, I used to say to myself like, I'm not good at faces, so I wouldn't do faces and I would add something else. Like sometimes I would put a flower in the face um, but if it's like a small person like this, I did the face. I don't really like it. So I think that's going to be my next thing is get better at doing that. So I've been talking a lot about painting, but you can apply this to anything in life, right? So for me, I w I'm a content creator, so I want to post every week. I want to start being actually consistent and I have, have been posting every week, you know, but this week I didn't really know what I was going to make a video on you know I was asking God you know for guidance on what to make the video on and so then I was just kind of gonna give it about tips for painting and one of the things was gonna be like give yourself a chance but then I decided I kind of wanted to just turn this into just to believing in yourself and can kind of be about anything right and so you know at first I kind of like was thinking to myself like I guess I'm not gonna make a video this week because I don't have any video ideas, right? But then you kind of think, well, give yourself a chance, give yourself a chance to come up with a video idea. And then once you have the idea, you know, at first I thought like, should I even do this idea? It's kind of stupid, you know? And then my idea kind of 
evolved a little bit more and turned into this and then you know i gave myself a chance even with the idea by you know making the video sometimes i have video ideas and i and i get nervous about them whatever like even if it's just like a short video when you think like give yourself a chance you know just make the video you don't need to post it like that's what i would tell myself in the beginning like you don't even need to post it just make the video but then it's like after you make the video you know, it's like, you might as well post it because then you just waste your time making the video, you know? So if you want to be a content creator and you don't know, um, and you haven't really been posting, you know, give yourself a chance, make the video. You could tell yourself, I don't have to post this, but then you're going to, you would want to post it. So you're just going to post it anyways. Right. And so another thing is with being a content creator, you know, once I have been transitioning into Instagram, at first, um, my videos were not successful and I wasn't getting any likes, but you know, you just keep giving yourself a chance by just keep posting more videos. And then eventually I started getting likes and I started getting recognition and more followers, you know? So things aren't going to happen right away. That's why I said before, like give yourself multiple chances. You know, if you want to sell your art or you have some other type of business, you want to sell something. So maybe you post it online trying to advertise and then maybe it's unsuccessful, but you only giving yourself one chance. So you have to give yourself multiple chances. And sometimes you have to give yourself hundreds of chances, you know, but then eventually you do succeed. So something that's really important when it comes to believing in yourself is having faith and, you know, trusting God or trusting the universe that you will succeed when the time is right, you know. So something I've been doing is like praying for patience and, you know, praying for the discipline to just keep going and to believe in myself and to trust God's timing that I will succeed, you know, when the time is right. Not everybody becomes a success overnight and sometimes it's better to you know, build your following over a certain amount of time than just like, you know, one day you wake up and you go from having 1,000 followers to a million followers. Like it might be, could be too overwhelming, you know? So sometimes it is good to build up your following gradually over time than it is to just randomly become an overnight sensation, right? But so don't get discouraged, whatever it is that you're doing, right? It depends on what you're doing. Because with the painting, you know, you want to tell yourself you can do it. You want to give yourself a chance, you know. These paintings took like, you know, a week to make, you know. But for something bigger than that, if you have a business, you want to be a content creator, you know. You want to be famous for something. You want to be a musician. Like, those things are going to take longer than a week and so for those types of things you really have to have faith and you have to have trust in God or the universe that you can do this you know and something that they've been saying at church you know a couple weeks ago is that God prepares you in private before he promotes you in public and they talked about how David in the Bible God anointed him but then it was like 15 years after he was anointed, then he became king. Like he was anointed by God, but he didn't become king right away. He had to wait 15 years. And that's because God was kind of, you know, preparing him in private and, you know, making sure that he would stay like humble and all like his, you know, being king and whatever, it wouldn't like get to his head. So... I thought that was like a good message, you know, for me. And so sometimes people even say to me that, that I'm underrated, you know, and like, I don't really like when people say that, but I guess in a way that is a compliment, you know, and I just have to trust that, you know, my time will come when it's right and to just keep going and to not get discouraged. And another thing is like, sometimes I will ask for signs from the universe, you know, for guidance. So this happened like a few months ago. I was in the store with my dad and then um, I'm kind of looking for signs cause it's like, like a pharmacy and they kind of have like, you know, like quotes and that type of thing there. So I'm sort of looking for signs, right? Then my dad says to me like, oh, come over here and look at these wine glasses because he, 
has been wanting to get like new wine glasses. So I go over there, right? Then I notice there's like this card, you know, underneath. And I notice the cards over there, you know, they have like different like quotes on these cards, right? And so the card that it was said, um, like something like you have to believe that success is inevitable. Like it said, believe that your success is inevitable. And it was just like cool to me because I was kind of looking for a sign. And then my dad kind of calls me over there. And then that's where the sign was. And that, um really is true you know you're not going to become successful unless you believe that it is possible so don't get discouraged if it is not happening right away right and i even made a video about this like a year ago you know um where I, again i was like kind of asking for a sign then i go to the car dealership with my mom and my grandma and then on the computer in the car dealership I see that it says, um, well, it's like a lion. And then it says, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. That's why I've just been praying to believe in myself more and, you know, really just trusting in the universe and to just keep going and to keep posting. Because in the past I would, I would post and then I would stop myself. And then I would, I would like, you know, I wasn't really always consistent because sometimes I would stop myself you know, out of being discouraged and all this stuff, you know, and I feel like I do believe in myself. Um, that's why I just need to really show that I believe in myself because believing in yourself is, it's more so of an action than it is an affirmation. You know, you have to show yourself you believe in yourself with your actions. For example, making videos, you know, short videos every day, longer storm videos um once a week you know no matter what happens no matter the circumstances you know i actually i'm not going to do videos every day i decided on sundays i'm not going to make videos um because it's the sabbath and now that i've been becoming more religious you know reading the bible it's really emphasized a lot in the bible that you should not do work on sabbath and you should rest it is good to do um one day of rest anyways you know people sh you shouldn't be working all the time and it's not necessarily work to make a video it's easy for me to make a video it's just annoying to edit the video and then have to repost it onto all the platforms like that is just that part of it is like work you know um so i'm just I don't want to do that on Sunday, so I think it's good to take a day of rest. You never want... It's not good to be working 24-7, you know. Um, it Rest is important, you know, if you get sick. There's obviously, like, a time and a place where sometimes you... It's better to rest than it is to be working towards your goals. But for the most part, um, you do want to be working towards your goals. I, obviously, it's a balance. But so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it on Sundays, but I'll do it on the other days. And I really want to get these videos out once a week. Let me know if you have any suggestions on video ideas. I usually do have a lot of ideas. So, but let me know um, if anything else that you want to hear from or maybe be elaborated on thank you so much for listening thank you to everybody that comments on these videos my long videos and also my my shorter form videos it very it makes me happy and i appreciate when you know when you guys comment um it makes me feel like i am making a difference and like I am helping people I want my content to be helpful and so I do want to post about what you want to hear from so let me know um thank you so much for listening please like and comment if this video was helpful for you and I will see you in my next video bye